So how'd you like my face reaction clickbait thumbnail? <laughs> I tried to make it as silly as possible. Um, here I am sitting in my collection space up in the attic of my house. Um, and it is November of 2023. And I am making a news video. Now, I usually don't make a lot of news videos. In fact, the last one that I made was way back in March of this year, all right? So nine months ago. And when I made that video, it was mostly me discussing Super 7's brand new, at the time, Wave 10 pre-order. And for the most part, I was making it because I was complaining about the choices they made with the racking that they had... Uh, sculpted at the time, you know. My criticisms was not that it was a bad sculpt per se, all right? You know, it was a fine sculpt, you know. It it didn't look weird, you know. It looked it, it was a competent sculpt. The problem was the action figure did not look like the original Racking from 1989, all right? Um and it wasn't just me that disliked it, you know. I think overall the reaction was very negative. So Brian, you know, the owner of Super 7, decided to cancel the racking. I guess probably him and a bunch of other people that he works with. They decided to cancel the racking, and they decided that they would release him at a later date after they had re-sculpted him. All right, so that's what this video is about, because today, Super 7 um, has revealed Wave 10, and it includes the brand new racking sculpt. Now that is one fine-ass sculpt, I must say. You know, that looks really cool. It looks very Playmates, uh, despite being told by uh, some people, including, I think Brian had um, confirmed it on maybe Twitter or something like that, that they couldn't make action figures that were just like the Playmates action figures. You know, that still looks very Playmates. Um, there are some differences, especially with the accessories and some of the sculpt that I'm going to get into, but, you know... I just thought I should come back with a uh, a sequel to that news video because I think this looks great, you know? Now, uh, you know, bear with me here. I just got home from work. This is why I look like garbage and I'm sick at the moment. But uh, yeah, it's just, it looks very cool. It looks very good, you know? And I like a lot of the accessories that they included with this new uh, racking action figure. Now, I'm going to discuss how I feel about the wave in general. But, you know, I'm, a good chunk of this is going to be me talking about the Racking action figure. So, uh, way back in March, when the original Racking was announced for pre-order, um, you know, people were unhappy with it. They didn't like it. Uh, I, for one, was pretty disappointed with it because he didn't look like the Playmates action figures and the whole Super 7 Ultimates line up to this point was pretty much trying to replicate all of those classic Playmates action figures that we had as kids. So when you went to a racking that was such a far departure of the original 1989 action figure, you know, it was a huge letdown, especially since racking is a, um, you know, an important character, a character a lot of people had been asking for since the line began, you know, especially since he was in that second wave in 1989. You know, he was important now, at the time, I remember some people saying that that Racking looked like like My Chemical Romance Racking and stuff like that. And I think the sculptor said that he tried to base him off of the Racking in um, the uh, the new beat-em-up game. What is it? Shredder's Revenge. But um, I don't know. Even this, I, di I didn't think he necessarily looked a lot like the Racking in this game. And um, yeah, they canceled it. And now they're back with a vengeance. Um... Some of the differences with, like, the sculpt, and I don't know if you can see this that well. It's going to be pretty blurry. But, like, the face on this thing, you know, looks pretty good. He's got, like, this, you know, really, like, gross expression and stuff on his face. I feel like they nailed it with this thing, all right? You know, they did a very good job. Um, if you look at the original action figure, you'll notice there's, like, a millipede on his chest here. You got a bone there, a bone on his arm. You got a rat climbing up his arm. Um, they included all of that on the new sculpt. One of the biggest differences that I noticed was, um, like on this leg, there's a bunch of bugs climbing up it. And there's a bug over here on the side of this arm. Those are not included on the new sculpt. 
And, you know, if that's the, the minor detail that they have to leave out to make it not similar enough to the original Playmates action figures that they can release it, then I am A-OK -okay with that, okay? They also, um, if you look at the original Rat King that they had uh, put up, his colors were off, you know, very different. But now, if you look at the, uh, the Rat King that they just put up today, they match the colors exactly of this racking, you know? He's got... Well, no, that's not true. They kind of made his, um... His diaper in there. <laughs> like a darker green color to match, like, the wrappings around his neck and his head. Um, but other than that, they matched all the colors just fine. And, you know, another thing I, got, I should say is... I'm perfectly fine with them including that original racking head that they had put up originally, you know? Because, I can't lie... There were some people in my video, my news video that I made back then, who said, I like the new head. I like it. I think he looks even better than the original Playmates action figure, which to me is like, whatever, man. But <laughs> it's, it's, you know, I'm, I, it's there. I'm, I'm glad they included it, you know, for anybody who wants to switch it out, I guess. So yeah, you know, it looks, it looks good. It looks very uh, faithful to this original action figure. There are some things, though, that is like, just like a, um, like a personal thing. Like, sometimes with new action figures, they look a little too clean. And I wouldn't say stale, because it's still a cool-looking action figure, but it just seems like a little sanitized or something like that. Like, if you look at the sculpting, certain things are just too perfect and square. Um, where when you looked at the old action figures from back in the day, you could tell that they were like... I don't know, there's like more human detail put into them. I think maybe it's because, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's just, I feel like if you were sculpting this in hand and you're looking at it, you could figure out like, oh, I'll just add this here or like I'll just put like a couple nicks here to make this a little more tattered and stuff like that. Where I think with digitally, because you're doing it all on the computer and, and doing it that way, it, I don't know, it might be hard to deviate from just doing the, um, the uh, the standard thing or uh, basic thing. So in my video, originally, way back then, one of the things I was talking about was, uh, you know, if you can't make it exactly like the Playmates action figure, do it in, like, the style of Playmates, you know? Don't do it exactly, but still add, like, weird things in there, like, you know, use maybe, like, a similar body, but, like, instead of putting, like, the rat here, put it over there and stuff like that. Um, and they kind of did that, I think, with the accessories. Because originally the accessories of the original pre-order were pretty lackluster, alright? You know, these are Ultimates action figures, and it just seems like accessories keep on getting fewer and farther or something. I, I guess, you know, I shouldn't say that, because you get a lot, but it's just like... The original Rat King, I think he had a couple rats and a flute, and that was it. And you're like, man, that hardly seems worth it. I do remember complaining about that in my video. <laughs> so in this brand new one... You get the flute, which I'm okay with. You know, that's cool. That's a nice nod to the cartoon. Um, you get the cat bandolier. Now, that's different from this, all right? Originally, he wears the snake belt, which is hilarious because it's... It's like a snake, and you have this dead cat wrapped around it. You have some cheese. So they can't make it exact like that. So he has the cat bandolier, which drapes around his shoulder and around his side, all right? And... That's fine. I'm okay with that, all right? It looks like there's, like, cat food cans or something like that attached to the cat bandolier. I don't know if they're supposed to be, like, cat food grenades or something like that. You also have the the rat tooth grappling hook. Um, that, to me, is funny. You know, that's, that's a funny, uh, clever design that he would throw that rat up in the air and catch onto, like, a ledge with that, you know either two or one really long tooth that's sticking out that rat's mouth. That's that's pretty funny. In the original toy line, you had the rat hook, which is very similar. The idea, at least, is similar, right? But here you have two rats, one with a mohawk, and uh, there should be a string, but mine doesn't have that. The only thing that's really missing from this uh, new release is the, um, oh, what the hell is this called? Something bow. It's not Rat King bow. What the hell is it? I can't remember, but it's his crossbow, okay? 
it's crossbow and you have the rat with the mohawk attached to this that you could take off and put back on. So you don't have that. But you get a sewer pipe knife, which I kind of love that thing. <laughs> like, I don't know. It just looks cool. You know, it's, it's a clever design. I like that. You know, to me, Ninja Turtles are supposed to be like, or Ninja Turtle toys should be like clever designs and jokey kind of things. Stuff that you look at that could either be super gross or just make you laugh. And he also has the rat tail scepter, which again, is pretty funny. You know, I will give that to them. So I am pretty happy with this racking. Uh, you know, as I said, he is different. I will do if... If I get him, I will, you know, definitely try to do a review and compare him to the original so you could see everything even clearer and stuff like that in this video. But, but you know, at the moment, I'm feeling pretty uh, optimistic about this guy. Now, uh, here's where I'm going to uh, complain a little bit about the wave, all right? To me, this wave is very lackluster, I guess, you know? From what I understand, uh, I just saw this on Facebook like an hour ago, um... Somebody posted that the sculpture of, like, that Leo is, I guess his name is Kevin. I don't really know much about the, the personal, the personnel working on these Super 7 action figures. I think he's also the guy who originally sculpted Rat King and maybe this, this brand new one too. But he had said that, um, that Leonardo action figure is a, a toy that he imagined could have been, like, made in the original Playmates series, you know? And I'm fine with that, you know, I like it. I like the, like, the trash can um, hat. You know, I think that's a clever idea. That's taking, like, a real-world design and trying to take an element from the Ninja Turtles and combine them. You know, that's cool. So I do like that Leo. However, I think that he should have been, like, the fifth figure. Like, this wave is two turtle variants, um, a foot soldier variant, and then the Rat King, all right? So that's my problem, is that... This wave has way too many variants. Like, we've waited a really long time to see this wave, all right? This year, there's only been uh, two pre-orders for Ninja Turtle Ultimates. You had Wave 10 back in uh, March, which included three human characters and a Ninja Turtle variant. And, I mean, April and Casey are variants too, all right? So your only new action figure that you were getting there was the Rat King. Um, and then they swiped out the Rat King and replaced him with Karai, another human, right? So, like, no mutants in that wave. And then you look at this wave and you're like, you have two Ninja Turtle variants and, um, the brand new Rat King, look, which does look cool, but then the Foot Soldier variant. Like, we didn't have any of the, you know, bigger mutant characters or, you know, the, either the weird ones like Pizza Face or, um, the anthropomorphic characters, like, uh, I don't know if they could do PandaCon because he's owned by somebody else, but, uh, who am I thinking of? Antrax or something like that, or, or Worm, or, like, heck, even, like, Chrome Dome, you know, you could, you could have, like, the robotic Chrome Dome character. Something new, I mean, like, I don't know, it just, it feels like you're gonna start losing people when you're not gonna be, like, including, like, some heavy hitter top-tier characters. The Rat King is... But still, it's like, how much excitement can you get off of one, like, really awesome, you know, cool character, and then, like, a couple figure variants? And, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm gonna get Rapper Mike. I used to love that action figure. Um, in the uh, accessory list for that thing, it says that the uh, boombox is two-sided. Two-sided turntable and boombox, but they don't have any pictures of the turntable, so I'd like to know if it actually looked like... The original toy from back in the day but yeah like i like rapper mike i think that like i said i think that leo looks cool i think uh he'll be a cool action figure to get but you're kind of losing some of the steam you had because at the end of last year in november you had wave nine which included uh scumbug and wingnut and screw loose and even zach the neutrino was pretty cool at the time and uh dunker donatello and uh i think the other one was just splinter but like you know, Wingna and Screwloose and um, Scumbug, you know, really caught my eye, you know. I mean, if you look at the last two waves compared to the, the original waves, it just it just seems like, I don't know, like it's, it's missing something. Like, look at wave one, right? 
you have your uh, mostly 1988 figures, except for Baxter, who was an awesome mutant character. You know, right there. Uh, all those figures got you excited. Even though I wasn't a huge Splinter fan, I was still like, yes, I cannot wait to get into this uh, action figure series. Then Wave 2 had Bebop and uh, Mutagen Man. And Mutagen Man looked amazing. You know, this giant monstrous uh, Mutagen Man. <laughs> And Leonardo was cool at the time, right? Wave 3 continued to impress with that amazing uh, Rocksteady. And also uh, Metalhead was pretty neat. And then I feel like, you know, we really hit like a point with uh, Wave 4. Because of Mondo Gecko and Muckman and Joe Eyeball. Like those... Muckman and Joe Eyeball, they're amazing. When Wave 5 came out, I was so excited to get that wave. Because you had Super Samurai Leonardo. Which unfortunately was a letdown because of those stupid hips. That whole wave, the hips suck in that wave. But, you know, that wave, Krang, Ray Filet, uh, Sewer Surfer, or Sewer, Samurai, Leonardo, and Leatherhead, that was a really awesome wave. You know, there was nothing that was going to uh, um, be disappointing when you looked at that wave, right? And then wave six was awesome, too, with um, possibly my favorite Ultimates action figure, Slash. Ace Duck was pretty neat looking, and Scratch, and... um. I think Sewer Surfer Mike is actually a really cool action figure. I think it's it's a really good one. Wave 7, in my opinion, continued to deliver with um, Punker Don and Sergeant Bananas Light, Gorilla Gorilla. And, you know, the Triceraton looked really awesome. Like, I cannot wait to get the action figures from that wave, too. And even that robotic Bebop, like, that looks like a phenomenal, a phenomenal action figure. Wave 8 had Genghis Frog... And Robotic Rocksteady and Space Cadet Raph and then that variant Shredder, which is okay. Actually, that, that cartoon Shredder isn't okay, right? That thing's, that thing's a ripoff, all right? He doesn't even, he's not even colored to look like cartoon Shredder. His mask is off. His, he's not even wearing a shirt, for goodness sake. Um, and then, like I said, uh, Wave 9, just an incredible wave. And then you get to Wave 10 and it's like, I don't know, just all, like, smaller size characters. Just, I don't know, not that exciting in my opinion. And now you have Wave 10. Like I said, Rat King looks cool. Um, looks like a pretty cool, exciting action figure to get. But just two Ninja Turtles and a Foot Soldier, it's like, I don't know. I feel kind of like this whole year we've been stuck in the same spot and we're just not moving. So that, uh, you know, begs the question, why no mutants and stuff like that? Is it because Playmates has completely thrown a wrench in their whole game? Are Super 7 taking the time to... I saw that they uh, announced that they can make 2003 Ninja Turtle action figures. So maybe they're gonna be going to head in that direction. Which, I don't know, is kind of funny and sad at the same time. Because Playmates has just started... Uh, I think they released some photos or released showing it like a toy fair or something like that that they're also remaking the 2003 action figures like oh thanks just completely screw super seven playmates please more you know uh if they can't make characters from the original playmates action ser figure series you could always try to make characters from the different ninja turtle continuities or whatever in the playmates style you know make a chrome dome from the cartoon but build him to make him look more in proportion with the Playmates toys, these Super 7 Ultimate remakes. You know, or uh, get yourself a Mutant Universe source book from Archie. Because Archie Comics is like a treasure trove of super fantastic characters that were never made in the original Playmates series. Look, right here on the cover. Dreadmon. Like, I would love a Playmates version of Dreadmon. Jaguar down here. Cherube? I don't know. I've never known how to pronounce her name. Cherube? <laughs> Ninjara? Uh, yeah, these are good. Like, even Sarnoff here. Sarnoff was mentioned in the cartoon, and then he eventually actually made an appearance in the Archie comic books. Like, get on that, man. So I really don't know how to feel about um, the future of this Super 7 Ultimates Ninja Turtle series, because... Like I said, I feel like I'm stuck here. Like I'm like I'm in purgatory waiting for the, the good toys to be announced. 
Um, and it's going to be a while before we see any more uh, Ninja Turtle Ultimates because according to Super 7's website, uh, Wave 9 is supposed to come out in February, which, let's be honest, I highly doubt that shit. Like, come on, you know that's going to get pushed back. So that would be your earliest, is February, to see the next wave of, of Ninja Turtles up for pre-order. Um, and then uh, after that, Wave 7, which keeps on getting pushed back, is supposed to come out in May. Which at this point, will it? Will it? I don't know. Uh, so, you know, hopefully things start picking up or something, you know. Like, it's just way too long between to wait for this toy series, you know? Like, people have got to be losing interest in And then you see, like, that sale that happened, like, a week ago from uh, on Big Bad Toy Store where a bunch of really amazing action figures like Slash are, like, only 20 bucks. Like, did Big Bad Toy Store pre-order or um, are just people not interested in them? And, like, if you look at that list of all those action figures that were up for sale, only, like, three of them went out of stock like two simpsons toys and something else like all those ninja turtles uh are still available i mean you can get like a mouse or five pack for 20 bucks i have two of them already so there's no real point in buying another one but i thought about potentially buying a second slash just because he looked cool if anything i would say maybe get like an extra sewer surfer mike just so you could use that oh, where the heck is the head It'd be cool to have this, like, expression on the standard uh, Ultimates action figure body. <sighs> but yeah, you know, if you're curious what's been going on in Raz, Rental, Raz Rentals Central, um, just working on a couple of Ninja Turtle reviews. Uh, like I said, I'm working on Super Surfer Mike. I'm working on uh, some other things. But I don't want to announce what it is yet because I keep on saying that I'm working on this review and then I don't make it for like three months or like some, seriously, some of my reviews are just like sitting there waiting to be finished. <laughs> People must be like, you told, you talked about a Jim Lawson review like five months ago. I know, I know. You talked about Leatherhead and Ace Duck. Yes, I know, I know. Uh, me for, with my personal collection, if you were curious... At the moment, I am trying to put together a complete set of um, Toxic Crusader action figures. Um, just because I love the designs of these things. I think uh, Varner, who did the you know original toys for Ninja Turtles and these Toxic Crusader toys. I mean, this is like a brother or sister line for that Ninja Turtle series. So, I have a bunch of these guys incomplete. So, I've been slowly buying their accessories on eBay, which is costing me a bunch. Eventually, I'm going to buy No Zone Complete just because his, like, barrel that you put the slime in is, like, way too expensive by itself. It's, like, 50 or 70 bucks or something like that. Um, but at least I have, like, a Radiation Ranger Complete, and uh, I think his name is Bonehead, and I don't know. But it's just a, it's a cool series that I'm slowly putting together. And, uh, yeah, so that's it. So uh, let me know what you think of the racking. Like I said, I'm really happy that Super 7 took the time to <coughs> try to um, appease the Ultimates collectors like myself. You know, I think they did a good job, whoever sculpted it. I don't know if it's, like I said, Kevin or who, who it is, but I think they did a really excellent job um, adding some of these details especially the head sculpt the head sculpt is the biggest change you know the body is pretty much the same except for those few adjustments but the head sculpt really sells it for me you know um, even if he had like a full set of hair instead of like this playmates one to try to differentiate him i think just the detail on the face and in the mouth alone um is enough to have uh, made me happy and want to buy him so, uh, you know, like I said, let me know what you think about all this, and I will talk to you later.